What's up guys, thanks for joining me. This is Joe from JS Playcraft. Now, if you watch my other video where I released a review of the modern Kadana from Dragon King, definitely take a look at it because it's gonna give you a lot of information as far as my outlook on the modern Kadana and the rendition that Dragon King is doing with this line. In this video, Dragon King has finally done it. They completed what I like to call the Kadana Holy Trinity. <laughs> It's the Holy Trinity because you have your modern full-size katana. Now they added the Wakazashi and the Tanto. Now the great thing about the modern katana series is the fact that they kept everything completely uniform. Now you notice how everything is similar. Couple different looks on the Manuki in terms of they're all cats, but different types of cats like a cub or a big cat or something like that. But they, they're all pretty much with the G10 handles. They have the 1566 steel. They're all here as a Kuri and are differentially hardened with real prominent hormone. So you have very similar constructions on all of them. So when you have the entire set, they're all identical, but different sizes. So as you can see, this is the Wakazashi. Again, it's just a miniature size, smaller handle. It's more of a one hand operation. You can get two hands on here if you want to, but you still have the paracord. You still have that beautiful unibody construction. Just to rehash a little bit, uh, the Modern Katana series for me, it's something that definitely is, was needed in the market today. Now I love traditional Katana, but this is just, plain old fun and damn cool. So as you can see guys, this modern Wakazashi and this Tanto complete a really nice looking Daisho set. And the good thing is this is the actual, this is the Katana from my first review. All of the pieces are uniform. All the pieces match up in terms of the G10 handles, in terms of even just the usability of the actual blades, the nimbleness of all of them, the control of the tip, the tightness of the handle, the low maintenance operation of them all pretty much are in unison with each other. So everything, it's just a completely good and matched set. My reviews are gonna be completely novice and they are all my opinion. If you are a collector or if you're someone who wants to display a really good looking modern rendition of, Jap of a Japanese sword set, I, this would definitely be a great option to kind of just display in your mantle or something like that because it's just the way they, they look and the, the appearance of them and that modern type of feel if that's what you're looking for. But of course, if you're looking to use and cut with them, they are excellent cutters. And being a Hirazukuri type of architecture makes it for pretty much one of the best cutting geometrics out there. But like I had warned before, these are probably meant to be more light to medium type of cutters. I wouldn't really use them as hard targets. Now you see that I did use them on bamboo, but that was just more to show you how hard you could push them if you needed, need be. And they did handle the bamboo pretty well in terms of even the wakizashi. I haven't tried down the katana, which I will, but I'm imagining it should probably do even a better job on the katana handling that dry bamboo. Now that's something that would normally damage certain edges, especially a very hard and dry bamboo where that's not fresh. You would damage some edge, but like I had showed you, they really didn't damage the edge. And with a little little force, they really did go through everything. And I'm very happy with also that it didn't, I don't see any apparent set chips or dips or anything like that. So I'm pretty happy with the results. Pushing a little harder on the bamboo, just to show you that if you're looking to use tatami mats, obviously pool noodles, water bottles, hard and soft, you'll probably be able to be successful with these and be able to get through these targets without damaging the swords and be able to use them over and over again. The edge retention obviously stays up pretty well on the 1566 steel. It's got a good HRC on the hot and the bendable part of the Mune to give a little bit. So it has a good combination of the HRC of a 1640 that you're able to basically get through targets. Just make sure your edge alignment is on. You have some experience before using these and you're gonna be very, very happy with the results you get from them. As a collector to a user to a, a trick cutter, they're definitely light and nimble, and they're definitely something that is going to basically do all of those beautiful trick cuts because you have a lot of control on the tip, okay, and a lot of be, a lot of control on being able to start and stop them with ease. Finally, they're just a great low maintenance option wing G10 and not having the Sukamaki or the Ito that might unravel, you have to maintain. They're a very low maintenance option that don't need to be taken apart. They're pretty tight where you don't have to worry about water getting into the tank. 
that you can basically use these. Obviously, they're carbon steel, so you want to oil the blades to make sure that they stay maintain themselves and they don't rust like any other carbon steel blade. They are very, very handsome looking pieces for sure. This Waki and Tonto are available through Cat Siberia's site, but definitely shop around for the best price out there. There are many resellers that sell Cat Siberia products. It has the same no maintenance grippy G10 handle that I would assume encapsulates a full tang underneath that is also non-removable. The Waki is overall 27 inches with a 19 and a half inch blade. It is a really good 1566 differentially hardened here is a query blade that slices extremely well. It's got a listed HRC, which is impressive, of 60 and on the ha or the edge, and a 40 HRC on the mune or the spine. It's got a 6 millimeter thickness at the spine and a distal taper of 3 millimeters thickness at the tip. The Tanto is pretty much more of the same, but it really stands out for me with its the inclusion of that beautiful bohi and that really nice geometric design. It's got a 10 and a half inch blade and a five and a half inch handle. And all the handles in this set or this series so far are comfortable enough or have enough purchase to be used comfortably for pretty much any hand size. What I'm really, really impressed about is the Tanto rendition. The Tanto rendition is such a great little piece. You don't have a, a large Suba, very, very compact, same paracord, same G10 handle, another type of lion or cat, something, whatever they have going on here. But the good thing about, the beauty, the beauty about this is that devastating point. Look at that beautiful hamon, you can see it in the sunlight. And this is the only one with a bohi in the uh, in the blade compared to the other ones. Still have that beautiful copper habaki, but that devastating point with that termination of the hamon, it is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful tanto. If you only want one piece and you just want to get something of a modern katana type of feel, I would recommend the tanto. I think it's, it's so different and it's so unique in terms of the pieces with that point and it's so sharp, they all so sharp out of the box. This is definitely one of them that basically you may want to look at if you're looking to get one. I recommend getting two, but basically as a, as a one-off, this is definitely a great, great piece compact and just such a great, great looking Tonto in a modern rendition. I really love how this looks. All right, guys, so you have the Katana. Now you have the Wakazashi and the Tonto that complete the modern Katana or modern Trinity set from Dragon King. I can't emphasize enough how incredibly nimble and great feeling these swords feel in the hand. Everything from the Katana all the way down to the Tanto just have a very good, solid, unibody, balanced feel to them where they feel like an extension of your own hand or your own arm. So for anyone who is looking to use them for trick cutting or just everyday casual cutting or practicing and things like that, Also with the blades being differentially hardened, it, there is a lot of aesthetic or beauty also to the blades. I've had had a lot of requests of people wanting to have these swords made up in a true hardened state, which is still up in the air and I think they might consider that in the future. But for now, these are very beautifully artistic swords that look will look great on the mantle or be at home and comfort in your hands doing your practice cuts, your backyard cutting, or even you know practicing practitioner for something just low maintenance, that can basically a quick, good draw, very balanced in the hand that you're able to practice with. I think it's a great option as well. I also have to thank at this point, Cass Iberia, Patrick, for making this video possible for giving me these samples of the Katana, the Waki, the Tanto to bring to you in as a review. Much appreciation. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you have any questions or comments, please list them down below. I'm sure I'll be able to answer. If not, someone from Cass Iberia will be able to answer for you. So. There you have it, guys. Here's a complete Trinity set. I don't know how you can pick just one. They're all beautiful pieces. Very sharp out of the box, which you can expect from Dragon King. So thanks for sticking around, guys. This is the Wakazashi, and this is the Tanto. New Editions completes the Trinity on the Modern Katana series. Have a good one, guys. Peace out. Ciao.